Hi friends! Today we are so excited to show you our Snoo review. So this is the Snoo bassinet and when we bought them, a lot of our family and friends thought we were crazy for spending the money on them. But after our girls started sleeping through the night at two months old, both of us were like, totally worth it. Worth the money. <laughs> Davey, what do you think? Do you like your Snoo? We've waited to do this video till our girls were completely transitioned out of their snooze because we wanted to give you guys like our honest feedback on everything. So little Davies here, she's gonna help, help us, us with model. this video. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. if you don't know what a snoo is, it's basically a, a smart bassinet. It's kind of on the higher side when it comes to price, but it's totally worth it and we'll tell you why. Here's what the bassinet looks like. It has this kind of really cool mesh cover top and then a wood base that I feel like is really pretty. And then something that you don't always see in photos or things like that is it actually has a cord. And so you do have to have it somewhere where you can plug it in. There is a little kind of thing to help you hide the cable a little bit better but that is in there. And then it also has like tags and stuff, which you obviously can cut off if you want. Inside the bassinet, it comes with this kind of a uh, little foam cover and you can just take these off and wash them. And then underneath... This is where the magic is. So there's a speaker here and then also microphones. And so what happens is with the smart bassinet, when the baby's clipped in and it's turned on, if the baby cries or makes a noise or starts talking or waking up, the microphones pick that up and it will adjust and rock a little bit more, a little bit harder to try to calm the baby down. The speaker actually plays white noise and it kind of varies with intensity. The more the baby's crying, the louder it gets to help soothe the baby. And there's basically three levels or three tiers of rocking that the snoo goes through. And if the baby calms down during any of those, then it will actually drop down to the lower base level rocking. Davey, do you want to help us model and show how you get in the snoo? Yeah, let's get in your straight jacket. So if you don't know, we actually have twins. One sleeping right now. And so we definitely have a perspective on two different experiences with these. This is what the little sleeper sack looks like. And Davey's going to show you how, how she goes in it. How it's done. So we found if we give our girls their binky first. <laughs> That'll help them That out. really, she just chills down. But as you can see, like, she just already gets ready. She's so used to her arms being down for bedtime. There she is Good like job. that. Get all cozy and it zips up. So cozy. Okay, looking good. And then it has the little side hooks. We got Dave right here, and I'm just gonna show you. We got her already zipped in and ready to go. And there are these little elastic things that just clip into these clips in here. Show them how it's done. So on the side, there's these little clips, and then the elastic goes right on. So then it's kind of like wings, and it straps her in. <laughs> Hi, Davy, being all cute. Once you have your baby all strapped in, then you push the on button, and there's just one button, and you control it more from your phone, but that's how you turn it on and off. And then it will rock the baby. This is how it does it when it's on its regular mode and it will just kind of gently rock the baby all night long. And then when they cry, it rocks harder and just helps them calm down. Good job, Davey. Thanks for sending it off to go a little, rock a little harder. So when your baby kind of starts to cry a little bit, you can see it rocks a little bit more and the noise machine gets a little bit louder. working it is working <laughs> that's pretty amazing Davey thanks for being such a good angel model <laughs> yeah you did awesome good job oh yay you're free, free. <laughs> here is the app and it shows you a log of the baby sleeping this is Davey's sleep log 
And so on this given day, she went to bed, but you could see in the red, she was either talking, not ready for bed, maybe she was calming down in between, and she slept all the way through. Let's see if we can find, look at this. If we wanna see something different, we gotta go back. But look, you can see here in the morning, on this particular day, Davy woke up and was sad, but then it rocked her back to sleep, and then she woke up and was sad, walked, rocked her back to sleep, and I didn't even know about this. So it's pretty cool. So since there's just the one button to push, you pretty much control all the rest of the stuff on the app. So like for instance, if you wanna transition into weaning mode, so you're ready to transition your kids out of this new bassinet, you put it into weaning it's mode on your app. But really that's, I, I feel there's not that's much. About it. You set it up, configure it with the app, but I would rarely use the app except for when I'm looking at it to see I don't know what yeah. how the babies are sleeping, if the babies are sleeping how many hours and stuff. But I think really I've maybe looked button. at the app. This is my first time. <laughs> I really like never looked at it because I'm like, the girls just did great. With having twins, that was one reason that really like motivated us to be like, all right, let's make it happen and buy these beds because we had heard great things about them. But it's interesting because both of our girls had very different experiences using the snooze, but it still worked the same for them in general. So like for instance, Davy, I at first did not like the snoo for her because she really likes to be snuggled and cozy. But then when she realized that like being in her little, we call them straight jackets, that's not what they are, the sleepers, <laughs> like the little sleeper socks that they go in. <laughs> when she's in those, she actually, it helps her feel cozy and calm. So it took a little bit of time for her to get there with that. And then also with twins with like feeding and being up so much in the middle of the night when they were first born, it was a lot getting the girls so in and out. In and out. And pulling them out, yeah. That and was so a lot then we would like try and like keep them in their little straight jackets while we fed them, but then they didn't always want to be in them while they fed. And so it just was a lot in the beginning. But the amazing thing is once they hit they two months. They really quick, so yeah. Yeah, they did. Once they hit two months, they started sleeping five to six hours a night. And then literally it was like two and a half months. And we both woke up at eight o'clock in the morning and we were like, wait, did crap, like what happened? Are the girls sleeping? What's going on? And, and really yeah, that was the one time I think I looked at the app. They slept <laughs> through the whole night and we were like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So with our scout, she loves, she loves, 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 motion. loves the motion. Use it, yeah. And so for her, anytime she, the rocking happened, she loves it and it really helps her it calm just down. Her yeah. Yeah. Once Davy hit about, I would say like four and a half months, the rocking, anytime she would wake up, she would just start talking and the rocking actually would, would wake, wake her, her up. up. More. But. I do think overall it really helped her. So we ended up switching Davy and putting her in her crib a lot sooner than we did with Scout. So Davy we transitioned out about like four and a half months. Scout we transitioned out at six months. But the nice thing is Davy, the transition was so easy with her mm -hmm. from going to her crib. She was still sleeping through the whole night. And so she's almost six and a half months now and she sleeps through the night still and it's been awesome. So we've transitioned Scout and she's been sleeping through the night and yeah, we haven't had any like transitions or sleep regressions. So I'm really grateful about that. Not yet. Yeah, I know. I get nervous. I'm like, is it going to happen? I hope not. <laughs> the one thing we should mention about the snooze is they recommend using them for every nap, for nighttime sleeping, and all of that. We only used them for nighttime sleeping, and during the day, we had our girls nap in Daca Tots or like a bassinet that didn't move. And so that's what we did. They recommend, though, of using it all the time. Our little model just went to bed. <laughs> One thing I did want to mention though on the sleep sacks, that's our dog Zeke. He's the best. <laughs> uh, on the sleep sacks is to make sure that you Velcro them and, and zip, zip them, them up. up when you put them in the wash. Otherwise or else the Velcro will the Velcro, stick to stuff. Yeah, might get on stuff, but that's just a little side note. We wanted to talk about, do we think the snooze are worth the money? and if we would recommend them. You might guess what our feelings are, but Jake, what are they? <laughs> Heck yeah, totally <laughs> worth it. I know it's a it's on the higher price when you compare, you know, other bassinets mm -hmm. and and rockers and whatnot, but like it is totally worth it. I mean, the fact that 
I was getting full, you know, the, my full sleep at two months in, like that was, that was amazing. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if I would have been able to do it otherwise. Honestly, it's really made a huge difference. Like sleep has been a big priority for us. And so it was a big deal for us to have our sleep and like continue that. And we're so grateful that this new bassinets did work with our girls and we totally would recommend them. And even though they are on the higher end, honestly, I would find a way to make it work. And if it's something that you're interested in, because we read all the reviews and so many of them were just like, yes, this is the best thing ever. And we had a, our, one of our neighbors had twins and I was like, okay, let's be honest. Cause she had gotten this new bassinets and I was like, should I buy them? Really and it, she yeah. was like, if I told you to buy any baby item, she was like, and you could only get one. She was like, get this is that. what I would recommend is getting two of this new bassinets. So after that, we were like, okay, let's do it. And I still was on the fence. And especially like in the beginning when the girls were like, it was just so, so much little, getting them in yeah. and out. But then once they started sleeping those longer stretches, it was so, so, so worth it. So I totally would recommend it. And the transition was really great. That was something I was really worried about if they were going to sleep. Cause I'm like, that's great. They'll sleep for six months and then what? And the transition has been awesome. They do, I wanted to say that the yeah. SNU does have some good options as well where you can even rent them if you don't want to purchase them outright. Mm -hmm. We did the math. We know we're going to have some more possible twins in the future. And so we just flat out, we, we just went ahead and bought them. The other good thing about when you do want to purchase a SNU, you can purchase it at any time and ha say, hey, my baby's due in October or mm -hmm. you know November. And so I won't need it until then. And you actually have so, a, like, if there's a sale, like for you, because usually like Black Friday they'll do a sale. Father's Day, Father's Mother's Day, Day, Mother's Day they'll do, and you can usually find thirty to forty percent off. The most I ever saw was thirty percent off, and so that's when we purchased them. So if you see thirty percent off, that's a really that's good a time really to good buy time. them and go ahead and get them. And then if they happen to do forty percent off, then you can call them and they'll price match. Especially yeah, if if you haven't received your snoo yet. So that's what <laughs> so. we did because we had ordered them on. I think it was like. Like Mother's Day, I think. Mother's Day or something like that. And then a few months later, it went for 40% off. And so I just called them and they adjusted the price. So yeah, that, that was awesome. really awesome. And they were really great to like work with on the phone and stuff too. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to buy them, I would recommend purchasing them on sale. Even if you're getting one, I would still get it on sale. <laughs> yeah. And then if you want to rent them, that's a really great option that you can rent them uh, for any amount of period of time that you want and then they also have a 30 day money back guarantee so if you're trying it and you don't like and it it's not yeah it's not working out that's always a great option too. and that 30 days is from when it you arrives are, when at it your arrives. house so yeah. yeah yeah so for us like when we were looking at it with the months and things like that and knowing twins might come early and everything we just decided we just wanted to have them at our house and we want more kids and so it just made sense for us to purchase them but yeah overall totally worth it that's been awesome totally it. <laughs> it's totally worth it so that's all i gotta say <laughs> so that's a wrap on our snoo review we hope this helps if you're on the fence deciding whether or not to get it and we hope that if you do decide to purchase it that you love it and stay tuned we have lots more fun baby videos coming up including sharing our transition on how we transitioned the girls from their snoo bassinets to their cribs so it kind of was a little bit of a process for us and so if any of you are nervous about that transition too we hope that we can help you out with that sharing our experience so thanks so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day see you later